brothers turned up dead. The cops are questioning Johnny, but he says uh, Dad's there. Wait, well, you can't, you can't be anywhere near this. What if Johnny convinces Santos is a setup, and then Dad? Your Dad can handle this. He's been dealing with guys like the Lopez brothers for years. No, most of the time he had to use back. You can't get involved in this. You would be protecting him if you weren't stuck in here because of me. I'm fine. You're not fine. You hate being locked up. You're the best everything you know Michael could ever have. Michael. Michael was here. Michael was here. I didn't think he'd ever want to set foot in this place well, again. He, he tried to cover, but I know, I know it was hard for him. <sighs> well, that's how much he loves you and misses you. Now, Michael's worried about you, Carly. Me? Why would he be worried about me? Well, he thinks you have a plan to get revenge on Dante and Lulu. You don't Michael and Lulu over to the Metro Court for dinner. I mean, is that a crime? Uh, okay, Michael said that Brooklyn was with Dante when he got back. She lives across the hall. They're old friends. Carly, I guess she stopped by. You hate Dante. You swore to me that you're going to make him pay. I swore that I was going to make Dante and Lulu pay. Breaking them up seems like a nice start. Okay, I just want you to think about what this could do to Michael, okay? This poor kid is running around trying to fix everything, and if your plan blows up in your face, which it could, it's going to be one more thing for him to carry. You want me to back off Dante? After everything Michael went through, Michael after everything he's still going through. He's worried through. about you. He feels responsible for me being in here, and he thinks he has to fix everything because I'm not around. Well, he shouldn't feel that way, and I know what I'm doing. Carly, to stop Michael from getting involved, you need to stop whatever it is you're doing now. No. Carly, please. You got you have to just let this go. When every time I'm around Lulu, she preaches about what a great role model Dante is and how everything worked out for the best. But you're still suffering, Michael's suffering for every decision Dante made. And I sit there and I nod and I smile and I listen to her sanctimonious crap, but I'm telling you and I swear to you, Dante's gonna pay and so is Lulu. Sam. Oh, Brenda, of course. She's the one with the marriage certificate. She's the reason why we get to have conjugal visits. And yeah, and as far as that goes, I'm not going to be alive another one for several weeks. I don't think you're going to be in here that long because I think I've found a way to get you out. I'm fine. A judge to reduce your sentence to time served, then you would be free. No, no judges. Uh, just, just listen, I already ran it by Spinelli, and he already started searching for a federal circuit judge who would review your plea. Sam, this Just is... listen to me, please. This judge, his name is Lawrence Dunbar, and he happens to have a fondness for strip clubs. No. Come on, no, you're Jason, not gonna don't, do it. please, listen, it's a perfect idea. Spinelli and I will just, we'll stage an incident where I happen to be on the judge's lap, and he snaps off a few incriminating photos, and... Since you're the one that's locked up, I'm the one you know. No, I'm not going to let you, I'm not gonna let you blackmail a federal judge. <sighs> Please, you, you and Spinelli just need to focus on, on other things. Sam, just be patient. They might even let me out early for good <laughs> behavior. You're joking, right? They're going to keep you in here as long as they can keep you in here. They're going to probably come up with excuses to keep you in here even longer. Come on, Jason. I've been running scams my whole life. I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to get caught. Fine, I'll leave Spinelli out of it. Is that better? No. Can you just leave this alone? And give up two to five years of our life together when you shouldn't even be in here in the first place? No, Jason, I don't think I can do that. Look, I know this is... This is really hard on you. And I hate it. And I hate what it's doing to you, but I can't let you risk yourself for me. And it's not your fault. You did what you had to do for Michael, I respect that, but this really is a solid plan, Jason. We can manipulate the system into getting you released. Even if you were able to trap the judge and get him to, to draft up an order to get me released, they're going to go over it and over it and analyze it, and if there's anything pointing back to you, they will yes, charge I you know. with extortion. Yes, I know. I understand the risks. And I know you're not going to like this, but I have to be honest with you, I am not giving up, because I love you too much.
Let's go, Morgan. I need to make a phone call. Phone call. I, I was gratified to receive your summons. You seem troubled. Sam tells me that you guys are planning to blackmail a federal judge. Yes. Is that right? It is an ingenious plan. I mean, Ferris Samantha deserves the lion's share of the credit, although the Jackal Cyber skills were crucial in selecting a suitable target. The lecherous judge. Okay, so, so for all you know, this judge could be the subject of an internal affairs investigation. Research indicates no such proceeding. And I've conferred with the Brusque Lady of Justice, and she's verified that the deviant Dunbar, it, it does have the proper jurisdiction to mandate your release. No, I'm not okay with this. Stone Cold, this is the perfect opportunity. It's too risky, Spinelli. Stone Cold. It is my duty, as your loyal friend, to at, to at least try to secure your release. I have a better way for you to help me. Jekyll is ready and willing. How can I help? It protects him from herself. This whole blackmail thing just tells me that she's getting desperate and reckless. It is a most arduous task. I mean, when Ferris Samantha sets her mind to something, she is a force to be reckoned with, as I'm sure you are. I know that. That's why I'm asking you for your help. I need you to help her focus on something good, not something that's going to get her sent to prison. Okay. I will do all I can to dissuade her from further rescue missions. But you have to understand that your incarceration has deprived many of your wise counsel. And, and I fear it's not just Ferris Samantha that's acting out. The Valkyrie... Mr. Sir, are in dire need of your presence. You're Mr. Popular today, Morgan. Make it quick. Is everything all right? It's about to be. You going home?